Welcome back to the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry, and we'll be talking about the Detroit Lions and the top three fantasy options heading into the year. The Lions don't always have a lot of fantasy options that we can rely on, so it's good to be able to talk about them, but I want to talk about specifically three players that can help your fantasy team this season. Amon Ross St. Brown is going as a top 30 wide receiver in fantasy football this year, and for good reason. He had one of the best fantasy football finishes at the wide receiver position last year in the second half. And so, yes, 90 catches, 900 yards, what's not to like about Amon Ross St. Brown? The situation's changed a little bit this year. DJ Chark is now in the fold. Jamison Williams is there. TJ Hawkinson and DeAndre Swift are getting fully healthy. And we know Jared Goff isn't going to have a ton of volume when it comes to passing yards. So even he's expected to reduce role. St. Brown has mentioned that this team is much more complete. Do I think he has the profile of a high-end wide receiver two or maybe even a wide receiver one? I don't think so when it comes to fantasy football. But can he be a solid wide receiver three or flex for your fantasy team? Yes. So when you see his name, don't get so excited and expect the results that you had last year. Just temper your expectations a little bit. He can still be a solid contributor for your fantasy team. DeAndre Swift is going to be one of the top 10 running backs off the board, and for good reason. He's heavily involved in the passing game, so in those PPR leagues, he has a ton of value. And there's a lot of experts who pin him as potentially having top three running back upside. I do have some concerns with them, though. Jamal Williams is heavily involved in the running game, and he has struggled to stay healthy over the last two seasons. He's missed seven games during that time, so we want to see DeAndre Swift fully healthy before we can throw him in that top three conversation. Uh, there are some other competition for targets. There's some new weapons in the passing game with Jamison Williams being a first-round draft pick, TJ Chark being involved, and also TJ Hawkinson's fully healthy now, too, and Amaral St. Brown has, has definitely taken on a higher role, so... There's a lot to like with DeAndre Swift, the talent, his usage in the passing game, but we do have some concerns there, so make sure you're not reaching too far for him in your drafts. He's very comfortable to draft in that back-end RB1, high-end RB2 conversation. TJ Hawkinson is one of the top 10 tight ends that should be drafted this season. Now, he did have a down year last year, dealt with some injuries, finished as a tight end 15, but we can slot him up there because we know his potential. He finishes the top five tight end two years ago, and in his offense, Dan Campbell's talked about getting him more involved in the passing game. If that happens, we should see TJ Hawkinson again in the top five. Even though there's a lot more competition for targets, things should be opening up in the middle for him this season. I like TJ Hawkinson to finish in the top five to seven tight ends in your league. So those are my top three players for the Detroit Lions this year in fantasy. Let me know your guys' thoughts and who else do you like on this team? There's a lot of options. And so the Detroit Lions, man, they're looking like they're going to be fantasy relevant here in the near future. Make sure you guys take advantage of the offer below and we'll see you on the next hurry up.